You need wisdom. Unahitaji hekima. On which name you use? Kwa lile jina utakalo litumia. You, you need wisdom. Unahitaji hekima. Ikiwa kwa akina Zakaria, if in the Zacchaeus family, Zakaria ni kuani lakini hata julikani hawezi za na anaombea watu. Zakaria is a priest but nobody knows him. He prays for people but they don't know. Mungu anasema akiitwa Zakaria, mtoto, if this child is going to be called Zakaria, Ure. he will be nothing. Kitabu cha Genesis. In the book. Mungu anasema, the Bible says, na babake Noah alipomzaa Noah akasema na huyu ataitwa Noah. And when the father of Noah get back to Noah, Maana atatuokoa na laana ya ardhi. Because he shall save us from the curse of the earth. Baba, umewapa haya majina majina haya kwa nini? Hapa ngulisikia ni tabu. Did you give your daughter such names? Kwa babu. Babu. Eh. Haya majina. The names of the grandfather. Lakini siwe ya Kristo walibatizwa. Sasa ndio wakaitwa hiyo. Lakini hizi zingine ni za. Ni zile nilikuwa natoa kutoka kwa babu na wabita. I used to get the names from their grand grandparents. And Kwa nini unasema umebeba shida za baba zote? Why did you say that you were given all the problems of the family? Nimejifunza zile shida babangu alikuwa anapitia tangu akiwa kijana. Moja. Moja. Nilikana naye akaniambia siri moja kwamba aliwahi kunywa pombe akiwa kijana. Na wewe? Na mimi nilai kunywa nikaacha. Na yale kunywa kitu kwa Father told me once drink and then so I also used to drink. Alikataliwa na mandugu zake wote. Hata kama alikuwa anawasaidia. He was rejected by all the brothers even though they were. Kuna kipindi walinikataa wote hata hawa. Walikukataa wote. All my sisters rejected me including this. Wakati gani huo? Kuna kipindi hapo katikati sasa hii ndio vile nimeanza kutafuta Mungu wa kweli. God. Ya tatu, Licha ya kwamba hata mimi ndio nilikuwa nawasaidia lakini hiyo rejection na hii milioni inatoka kwa baba. Ya tatu, baba yangu akiwa kijana na mimi nashangaa hata siolewi. Mamangu kuna wakati ananiuliza mbona siolewi na mimi hilo jibu na nakosaka. Ndio nikasema siku. Na wewe uko na miaka mingapi? Tati. Hebu angalia pale. Can you look on this? Natamani ujibu kuhusu huyo mtu. I want you to give an answer about that person. Huyo msichana si mrembo. Is that lady not beautiful? Kwa nini aoleke? Why can she be mad? Ndonaomba jibu basta. Uko na nyingine ya aina? Do you have another yeah, third for this? Gani? Uh, maono yangu mengi hayatimii. Semu ni ya baba. Mimi nikiwa primary. Wakati unafundisha ukisema yale maono yako mengi vitu venye unataka kufanya kwa maisha yako ama venye unafanya ndio maono nilikuwa nayo tangu hata nikiwa ni, ni primary Nani lakini hai, mimi hayajatimia cha kwanza mimi nikiwa tangu primary nilikuwa na maono nafikiria nataka kuja kujenga feeling station hapo bado hata sijaingia high school Aya. Cha, cha kwanza kwanza kilikuwa nikimaliza college niolewe niwe na watoto wazuri niwafundishe mambo ambayo mimi najua kutoka kwa moyo wangu mpaka sasa hivi ndao haijatimia ndio najiuliza mimi nitaolewa lini ndio nakuuliza ilo swali pastor na nikusaidie acha nipandishe long sababu badala ya kuwauliza walio upande wa kulia umejiuliza aya nitakujibu kwa biblia open your bible we ni mtoto wa ngapi you are which born in family watatu watan five fifth born hao wengine wako juu kuna four mbele kuna four nyuma ila wawili walifariki juu na chini hao four wanaendeleaje how are the four which older than you baya sana hao four wengine how about the other four hao wengine unaweza wauliza ile wanaendelea some of them are ndio wengine wamegwarwa shingo <laughs> kati ya hawa huyu ndio mlevi zaidi among all this one this one is the one who drinks much yuko wapi yule pastor wangu alikuwa anasoma biblia genesis kitabu cha mwanzo wewe ni adona tunasaidia na kwa mafundisho are we learning from the teachings
chapter number 1 yule mwalimu wangu wa biblia genesis chapter number 1 kitabu cha mwanzo mlango wa 1 verse 1 kuanzia mstari wa 1 at the first god made the heaven and earth aha genesis chapter number 5 nimeumesema namba Number 5 verse 1. Kitabu cha Mwanzo mlango wa 5 kuanzia mstari wa 1. This is the book of the generation of Adam. Yeah. In the days when God made man, he made him When the... God created mankind, he made them in the likeness of God. He created them male and female and blessed them and he named them mankind when they were created. When Adam had lived 130 years, He had a son in his own likeness in his own image and he named him Seth. After Seth was born, Adam lived 800 years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether Adam lived a total of 930 years and then he died. When Seth had lived one of five years he became the father of Enosh after he became the father of Enosh Seth lived 807 years and had other sons and daughters altogether Seth lived a total of 912 years and then he died When Gigiri had lived for some years like 40 years wakati unaishi kwa miaka kama 40 he gave birth to you alikuzaa in his own likeness and image katika sura na mfano wake which likeness poverty umaskini alcohol ulevi lack of marriage kukosa ndoa rejection kukataliwa and he had other sons and daughters na akawa na wale wengine wa kiume na wa kike and gigiri died kisha ka then what is your name kisha unaitwa nani so When Sophie was 32 years she Wakati got married. Sophie alikuwa miaka 32 kwa leo. Children in her own image and akapata watoto katika sura na mfano wake. Drinking, rejection, kukataliwa. Poverty, umaskini. Eh nimefurahi vile imekuingia. There is no way hakuna vile a man can give birth to another man mtu anaweza mzaa mtu mwingine in a different likeness katika sura tofauti different from his father's or his mother's likeness tofauti na sura na umbo ya baba yake isipokuwa tu the person born aliyezaliwa is born again amezaliwa mara ya pili to be born again is not to be born in flesh kuzaliwa mara ya pili sio kuzaliwa katika mwili is to be born in first samuel ni kuzaliwa katika samuel and the spirit of god shall come upon you in power and you will be changed into another person na roho bwana atashuka juu yako katika mkuu le mzaliwe kiroho maisha yabadilike today may you be born spiritually that your life may change hawa wazaliwe upya sababu unaona huyu amekasirika i want these people these dollars to be born again Ungeona okay. vizuri. Kwa sababu hao watu ni mimi wanafanana sura nilikuwa mweupe. Hata na kipindi kingine nilikuwa naishi hapa. Kama 1970 to 73 this when we live here. Nikaenda. Sasa mimi nilikuwa mtu wa mitaani. Ndio sasa wale mandugu watumuka nao. Sasa niliporudi vitu nafanya ni tofauti na vile watu wanakaa nyumbani hapa ndio watu wanaona huyu ni mtu aina gani kama vile wao na umechenga hapa hata watu wengine wanafikiri wewe ni devil hata siku nyingine ulinisaidia lakini huku kuchua ni mimi uliniambia rais mikono yako hivi nikaresi kwa runinga ukaniombea ukaniambia mimi si takufa na mwezi wa saba nilikucha nikakaa huko tulikuwa na kichana ambaye uliombea alikuwa amefunjika hii miguu na bigibigi basi ukaniambia wewe mse utaendelea kuhisi lakini huyu maisha yake ni kidogo nikarudi nikaenda mwezi wa nane last year nikarudi hapa nilikuja na huyu mama nikaona tatizo langu ni kwa taraka nikasema niche nikae na yeye uniambie mimi sina ndoa nijue si taabu gani hii hata vile nimefika hapa naweza kunifungulia kitabu niambie huyu mama si bibi yangu nijue 
mizi mtu je umewahi kujiuliza utapata faida gani ikiwa ungemkubali Yesu Kristo kama bwana na mwokozi wako au je wewe ni mwamini mpya ambaye usahau faida za kuzaliwa mara ya pili je ungependa kujua ni mapendeleo gani huja na imani yako mpya so leo nataka tuangalie faida za wokovu lakini kabla ya hapo hebu tujibu swali la dola milioni nini maana ya kuzaliwa mara ya pili wokovu kuzaliwa upya kuzaliwa upya ni nini nataka uelewe kwamba kuzaliwa mara ya pili ni kukombolewa kutoka katika dhambi na matokeo yake ambayo ni mauti ya milele na kuingizwa katika ufalme wa Mungu ili kufurahia uzima wa milele kupitia imani rahisi katika Yesu na ni rahisi kama kukubali kwamba kama mwenye dhambi huwezi kumpendeza Mungu mtakatifu kwa hivyo unahitaji msaada wa kuwa na uhusiano naye kwamba Yesu alikufa badala yako alilipia dhambi zako zote na kufanya iwezekane kwako wewe mwanadamu asiye mkamilifu kuwa na uhusiano na Mungu mkamilifu kwamba uhusiano wako mpya unategemea kabisa kazi ya Yesu aliyomaliza msalabani na si kitu kingine chochote hata matendo yako mema au kushindwa kwako nataka uelewe kwamba kuna mamia ya mambo ya kiroho unayofurahia kama Mkristo aliyezaliwa mara ya pili. Jambo la kwanza elewa kwamba umehakikishiwa wokovu. Ni kawaida kutilia shaka kama wokovu wako ni wa kweli kama muamini mpya. Hata hivyo hauhitaji kuwa na wasiwasi na kupata mashaka kwani kuna hakikisho kamili kwamba Kristo amekuja maisha ni mwako dhambi zako zimesamehewa na kwamba una uzima wa milele jambo la pili unafurahia upendo wa Mungu usio na masharti haijalishi uko katika hali gani sasa jambo moja ni hakika kwamba Mungu alikupenda alikuchagua na kukuita mtoto wake na chochote watu hao adui anaweza kukuzuia ama kukukuza akilidi mwako kinyume chake ni uongo wa busara ambao lazima uukanushe kwa kumtumaini Mungu zaidi jambo la tatu ni kwamba una maisha mapya ndani ya Kristo huenda usione haya lakini ni kweli kwamba wewe ni kiumbe kipya na una maisha mapya ndani ya Kristo. Kama tu mtoto mchanga, itabidi akue na kujifunza mengi kuhusu maisha yake mapya. Pendwa wangu, elewa kwamba una uhusiano na Mungu ambao unapaswa uendelee katika maisha yako yote. Pia jambo lingine ni kwamba ukizaliwa upya utafurahia pendeleo la maombi. So tofauti na ulipokuwa kafiri, sasa unaweza kuzungumza na Mungu kama vile tu mtu anayezungumza na rafiki yake. Jambo jema kuhusu mawasiliano haya ni kwamba rafiki yako ambaye ni Mungu anajibu na kujibu na kujibu maombi yako. Jibu linaweza lisionekane mara moja, eh? Lakini huwa lipo kwa kila maombi yanayofanywa. Inafurahisha pia kutambua kwamba unaweza kuzungumza na baba yako wa mbinguni kuhusu mada yeyote. Hakuna kitu cha faraga sana, nyeti au kisicho cha maana kujadiliwa. Elewa kwamba pia una hazina ya neno la Mungu ambayo ni Biblia na kama vile unavyojitayarisha mwongozo kwa kila kifaa unachonunua Mungu amekupa mwongozo wake wote yani Biblia ambayo ndio njia ya moja kwa moja ambayo Mungu hujibu maswali yetu mengi Jambo lingine ni kwamba una rafiki ndani ya Yesu Niamini dunia hii inaweza kuwa hivyo wakati mwingine. Wale tuliowaamini mara nyingi wameishi kusaliti imani yetu. Je, haitakuwa bora kuwa na mtu anayeaminika kuhurumia hali zetu na kufanya kitu kuhusu hilo? Na maanisha rafiki unayeweza kumweleza siri zako zote bila woga na kusalitiwa. Hivi ndivyo unavyopata ndani ya Yesu. Kwa kweli ni kupitia kwake tu ndipo tunaweza kupata njia ya kumkaribia Mungu. Wokovu pia unaweza kufurahia maisha mapya kabisa. 
tofauti na unapokuwa chini ya utumwa wa dhambi sasa unaweza kuishi maisha ya kumcha Mungu na kudhibitisha upendo wako kwa Mungu kama kwamba hiyo haitoshi unawaamini wenzako na Yesu kukusaidia kuishi maisha haya mazuri ya uwajibikaji na wajibu yote haya yatakurudishia hadhi yako iliyopotea na hali ya kuhusika. Jambo lingine ni kwamba ukiokoka ama ukibadilika, sasa unaweza kupiga majaribu. Kukabiliwa na majaribu kumewazuia wengi kumpokea Yesu. Habari njema ni kwamba mara tu unapozaliwa mara ya pili, una uwezo wa kupiga vishawishi na aina yoyote ya udanganyifu. Na hii haimaanishi kuwa hautaanguka katika mitego hii mara tu unapomkubali Yesu. Kwa kweli mara kwa mara unaweza kuanguka kwa kishawishi cha shetani hata hivyo chaguo ni lako kwani wewe si hoi tena pale unapokabiliwa na dhambi tukiendelea pia kubadilika tena unaweza kuendelea kupokea msamaha kama ilivyotajwa hapo awali bado unaweza kuvuruga ingawa wewe ni muumini Walakini upendo wa Mungu utaendelea kutosha na msamaha utahakikishiwa mradi tu unamiliki cha mwisho unafurahia ushirika na waumini wengine kuzaliwa mara ya pili kutakuunganisha na mamilioni ya waumini duniani kote mnaweza kuabudu pamoja kutiwa moyo na kujifunza Biblia pamoja katika baadhi ya ushirika waumini wapya na pia mtajifunza jinsi mtakavyotumikia Mungu. Aya, kuna swali hapa nyeti juzi juzi tu mlikuwa mnaongelelea jina Diana. Nataka mwelewe kwamba ili jina kama halijabadilishwa, kama Diana mwenye yupo saa hii, ni yule yule ametajwa kwa Biblia. Huyo Diana ni roho ya kuabudiwa. Eh, manake Diana yule wa Biblia alikuwa Godes. Nitawasomea katika kitabu cha Acts 19:24 to 35 inasema hivi For there was a certain man named Demetrius a silver worker who had silver boxes for images of Diana and gave no small profit to the workmen and there is danger not only that our trade may be damaged in the opinion of men but that the holy place of the great goddess Diana may be no longer honored and that she to whom all Asia and the world give worship will be put down from their high position 28 And hearing this they were very hungry crying out and saying great is Diana of Ephesus 34 but when they saw that he was a Jew they all of them with one voice went on crying out for two hours great is Diana of Ephesus 35 and when the chief secretary had got the people quiet He said, "Men of Ephesus, is any man without knowledge that the town of Ephesus is the keeper of the holy place of the great Diana, who was sent down from Jupiter?" Mesikia pale majina ya Diana zimetoka. Mesikia roho wa Diana katika Biblia vile alivyo na ukavunja madhabahu ya Diana wa kale. Yule Diana meaning, ile spirit ya yule Diana wa kale. I'm telling you, it's different. Sisi tukipo haya majina hatukuwa tunajua. Tulipata wazazi wetu wametupa. Na umeona yule mzee pale ametumia majina za mababu za hawa watoto kuwaita hawa watoto. Na ndio manake unaona hawa watoto wana roho za mababu zao. Na ndio maana mnaambiwa mnapochagulia watoto wenu majina mtaadhari. Muwe makini. Muangalie haya majina yametoka wapi. Mizizi haya majina. Unfortunately tulijipata twaitwa kina Diana, twaitwa kina Esther, tunaitwa kina Magdalene. Yeah, that is the meaning. Lakini kama ulienda madhabauni, so ndio nawaambia ukizaliwa ya pili ya kale yote. Na ndio maana ukiona Abraham alibadilishwa jina, Sara alibadilishwa jina, David eh wengi sana ili Mungu awatumie ili wabidi wabadilishe majina yao ndio waende next level kuwa na ushirikiano na Mungu. Je yeah. 
jina lako umelikabidi kwa madhabahu ukate ama uvuje zile madhabahu za maroho machafu kuhusishwa na jina lako e comment down below tuwasiliane kwa heri ya kuonana na usisahau ku subscribe manake injili lazima isonge mbele mama radi hapa